In this video, we're going to set up for the first time the MICTVIA Multimedia Remote Desktop Receiver. Now what you see in front of you here is my laptop in the lower left hand corner and my television behind that. If you're not familiar, the MICTVIA, or it seems as if it's pronounced MACTVIA on their website, but it's spelled MICTVIA, it's actually a device that you can use to beam content from a Windows or Mac computer to your television set. So in this case, I have my laptop, as I mentioned, in the lower left-hand corner. It is not connected to the TV at all. We're just going to connect it with the MCTVIA device wirelessly. And the reason I have it in frame here with my television set is just to show you how the mirroring is going to work. Whatever is on my computer screen will end up being on my television screen. And this seems like it's going to be a very good option because you have a lot of streamers out on the market today, such as the Western Digital Streamer, the Apple TV, the Sony Streamer, the Roku, which is a very popular device, or even the Google TV. But a lot of those devices are limited in what they can do. And if it's not a limitation of the device itself, it could be a limitation of a content provider. For instance, Google TV has a full web browser on the device, but television networks have blocked the device from actually viewing content from their websites. Or Hulu, your basic Hulu, not your Hulu Plus, but your basic regular Hulu that you can access on your web browser is blocked on Google TV. Well, this MCTVIA device seems like a great workaround to that, because anything you can get on your computer, you can put on your television set. Now what you could do is you could actually set the MCTVIA to work with a computer in another room. In my scenario here, in my case, I'm going to be using a laptop, which seems most convenient for me. Because when I'm sitting on my couch here, I could just fire up my laptop and beam the content straight to my television set, which is a bigger screen and it's connected to my home entertainment stereo system. So right now I have the MCTVIA device hooked up through HDMI to my television set. I have it plugged into the wall, and the only thing I need to do is turn it on. So I'm going to turn this device on for the very first time. Okay, we had a couple of splash screens there and this is what I'm greeted with. Basically, it's a setup screen. Now, if you notice, you already see a mouse pointer on the screen there, and I have my IP address blocked out here. So if you're wondering what the little black thing on the screen is, it's just my IP address that I'm blacking out. Now, the device comes with a software disk, which is basically the setup disk. I don't know if you can actually see it here, but this is it right here. It's in a dark room here, and I did that just so that the screens would pop a little bit better but I'm going to insert it into my laptop here. Okay, my autoplay window pops up and it wants me to install MCTVIA setup, so I'm gonna do that. And I get the setup wizard, I'm just gonna blow through this, hit next, and it's installing, it's extracting, and it looks like it finished. It says benchmark and configuration tool. Welcome to the benchmark wizard. This will run performance test on your computer. It is recommended that you close all other applications before continuing. Your screen may flicker during the test. It will be restored to your original setting after testing. Click Next to continue or cancel to exit test. We're just going to continue, obviously. Okay, it finished its benchmark and it gave me a system ranking of four stars. CPU has five stars, graphic card has four stars. I'm just going to hit Finish here and let's see what happens here. Okay, it goes back to my regular resolution. And now on my desktop, I have this MCTVIA little shortcut here. Okay, in the meantime, this is what happened. I had some trouble on the Windows account I was using. So I signed out, I uninstalled the program because I had a lot of problems with it. I'm talking about 45 minutes of issues with it. So I uninstalled the program and tried to reinstall it on that same user, that Windows user, but uh, it still wouldn't work. So I just reinstalled the program under my master account and I was able to get it set up. So I'm gonna hit next here and see what happens here. Okay, it says, with the mouse connected to the MCTVIA, 
click on the pink mirror op logo in the lower left corner. You should see the above picture on your TV, okay? I will do that in a second. Let's just read number two here. Check if the signal level is above 70%. If not, the signal may not be good enough for videos. Please enhance the Wi-Fi signal of your home router. Well, I have a very high-end home router, probably the best you can get right now, and it's in the optimum location in my house, so it's not gonna move. So if this doesn't work, I'm not gonna use this McTevia box. But let me just uh, click on that pink thing that you probably can't see because my IP address is right next to it. So um, I'm just gonna click on it. Okay, I have signal strength 73%, so that's great. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just hit next here, and let's see what it asks me to do. Connect the Wi-Fi module of your computer manually with McTVia. We recommend to use a 802.11n router for pure wireless configuration, although you can still proceed if you have a slower router. Again, I don't. Uh, the performance may be less if you have a slower router. On your PC, click the Wi-Fi icon on the notification area in the menu bar as indicated by the red rectangle in the drawing on the left, so pretty much very similar to what we had before. Select the one with the McTVia name to connect your PC Wi-Fi to the McTVia access point. If the wireless network is protected, please type the security key. And then finally it says click next after your PC gets a correct IP address from McTVia. So let's go down here and try that again. So I'll try and get that all squared away and I'll join you on the other side of that. Okay, it looks like I get internet access now, and I have this little McTVia widget that pops up on the screen here that I can move around wherever I want. And in the center of it is a play button. And then it also has a couple of icons. There's one over here. You probably can't even see any of this because it's so small, but uh, you get this small widget, and in the center, like I said, the play button, then you have a couple of options. One is just for applications, and then one is for videos, so you get probably a higher frame rate uh, when you use the one with the videos and then you have some options here. Very simple little program. I'm going to hit the play button here and that's what should mirror over here onto the uh, TV screen over here. There we go. Okay, what you can see right here on this McTVia device is that uh, I have it beaming to my television set right now and I'm trying to work on the screen resolution. Now, you have this little widget that pops up when you open up the program. So here, you probably can't see it, but maybe you can on the bigger screen, since I'm doing the mirroring already. You have a couple of options. You can close the program, or you have a menu option here. I'm going to click on that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the TV offset compensation. And that's going to bring up this window here. It's going to allow me to actually get this fit onto the TV here. Now, the, basically what you have is you have some slider bars and a scale. And you pretty much just have to do it by, by eyeing it and seeing what is going to work best. Now, I'm going to do a horizontal offset of 20 and a vertical offset of 20. And I'm going to hit apply and let's see what happens here. Getting a little bit better. I think the vertical uh, could actually be a little bit less. Let's bring that down to 15. And the horizontal definitely, definitely needs to be more. So I'm going to bring that up to a 30. And let's apply that now and let's see how that works. Okay, much better. That actually looks pretty perfect. But I'm going to shut down this video for now because it probably ran a little bit longer than I thought it would anyway. But that's how you set up the McTVia. Couple of headaches along the way. Um, probably I wouldn't have had so many problems had I set it up under the administrative account to begin with. So if you are, you know, if you have this product or you're thinking about buying it, just keep that in mind. So so far, my impression on the device is that it is probably for a more mid to advanced user. I don't see casual users picking up this device to uh, you know, use it on their television sets. It is more of a geeky device, if you will, but um, you know, I'm gonna run it through its paces and I'll give you a better opinion on it when I've actually used it a little bit. But that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.